Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and it's time to go back to the theater. And Nicolas Cage plays Nicolas Cage, my review of the 2022 comedy action film. The unbearable weight of massive talent, coming up now. Hollywood heavyweight Nicolas Cage has been struggling with his career the last few years, as well as going through a divorce with his soon-to-be ex-wife and a rocky relationship with his teen daughter. Hard up for money, Cage agrees to attend a birthday party on the island of a billionaire playboy, Javi Gutierrez, for the price of $1 million. Cage and Javi end up becoming quick friends, and Javi wants to create a script for a movie with Nick. Cage is confronted by two CIA agents who believe that Javi is behind the kidnapping of a politician's daughter. Nick hesitantly accepts to help the agents and look for the girl in Javi's compound while they work on their script. So what did I think of the unbearable weight of massive talent? I thought it's an entertaining and zany action comedy. It's directed by Tom Gormican, best known for directing the comedy That Awkward Moment, starring Zac Efron. The film is very self-aware and meta, with Cage playing this fictionalized version of himself. You also don't have to be a cage to understand all the jokes, as there are references to his filmography, but thankfully doesn't beat you over the head with it. It's a pretty smart script for the most part, as the screenplay they're working on is happening as they go along. The film certainly parallels Cage's real life at times, and he's looking for a role that could get him back on track after being turned down for a number of projects. We also see that Cage is thinking of his career to be a paying job over passion projects when asked if he's overworking himself. The CIA and undercover work can be hit and miss and could feel forced, while the action itself falls a bit flat as well. The subplot of him trying to bond with his daughter can be charming, though. The highlight is the fantastic chemistry between Cage and Pedro Pascal, and the bromance the two characters form is very fun. There are some very funny laugh-out-loud moments, and thankfully most of the jokes land. Cage speaking to an imaginary younger version of himself from his Wild at Heart era named Nicky, who mostly uh, gives him bad advice, is amusing as well. The cast stars Nicolas Cage as the fictionalized version of himself, looking to get a big hit role. Pedro Pascal as Javi Gutierrez, the billionaire and Cage superfan who pays Nick a million dollars to come to his party. Sharon Horgan as Olivia Henson, Cage's fictional ex-wife who makes a, and makeup artist. Tiffany Haddish and Ike Barinholtz as Vivian and Martin Etten, the CIA agents who recruit Cage. Lily Sheen as Addie Cage, Nick's daughter. And Neil Patrick Harris as Richard Fink, Cage's agent. The unbearable weight of massive talent can be a lot of fun and is a breath of fresh air into the comedy genre that barely exists anymore. Number-wise, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, which gives it the A-list rating of Do It. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube youtube.com slash westside of 515 like the show on facebook facebook.com slash west true playlist and of course you can follow me on the twitter instagram and letterbox at west a list until next time troop out